Welcome to a quick video about a game that I've been enjoying for a few weeks now, but that never really got its day in the sun, and that's Titanfall 2. So if it's been on your radar, or maybe this is the first you've heard of it, let's talk about why you may want to think about jumping into your own massive robot. So number one, the main reason why now is the perfect time is cost. It's a whole bunch cheaper now than on launch. On PC, on Origin, you can now buy Titanfall 2 33% off thanks to an early Black Friday deal, and then get a further 20% off at the checkout using the code TITAN20. I think that works out to around 30-ish dollars for you folks in the US. I'll put links to the Origin store in the description along with the code for you to copy pasta. If you're on console, don't fret. Walmart in the US apparently has it for around the $30 mark as well, and in the UK, reports are that HMV will have Titanfall 2 at heavy discount this Black Friday as well. The second reason why I'd suggest you look at Titanfall 2 is that it plays really well. Basically, the only major thing wrong with this game was the way it was launched, sandwiched uncomfortably close to Battlefield 1 on one side and Call of Duty on the other. It never got the credit it really deserved, even though the review seemed almost universally positive. The movement is perhaps what characterises the game more than anything. If you come from playing Dirty Bomb, then think of that sort of movement mechanic, but then taken to a really kind of sci-fi high concept limit. The sliding and bunny hopping and lots of wall riding. The movement is all about conservation of momentum. The gunplay is good too. The weapons are varied and the sound, along with all the other sound design of the game, is really kind of nice and meaty. The time to kill is short compared to games like Dirty Bomb, but honestly I think it suits the infantry combat when you compare it to piloting a big robot titan. If you're on foot, you trade health for mobility. You choose how you play the game, it's completely up to you. If you're a single player campaign fan then Titanfall 2 has that as well. I've actually not completed it yet so no spoilers. But from what I've read, it reviews really well, perhaps one of the standout single-player experiences of the year. Apparently it's in the small but well-formed mould of about 67 hours long. For me, someone who normally doesn't care about single-player FPS games, I'm actually happy about its inclusion this time. Number 3. Finally, and for me, this is a big reason why I want to support the game. All future DLC is free. That's right, there's no season pass or special edition of the game you need to get to get the future maps and weapon unlocks. I've seen some people talking about buying this game over the other choices purely to support this business model. This means that the player base in the future won't be split across multiple map packs or expansions, something that can be difficult when you're playing with friends. And in a world where season passes and other expansions are seemingly the norm, I'm very happy to see the developer Respawn and the publisher EA taking this route with Titanfall 2. Look, I'm not saying Titanfall 2 is perfect. I mean, what game is? And maybe we'll talk about some tweaks they could make in the future, but the core gameplay is enjoyable, frenetic, arcade FPS action. And at this sort of price, with single player and DLC included, I'd recommend you consider it. But what do you think of Titanfall 2? Will this sizable discount make you consider buying it? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, why not hit that thumb up button and consider hitting that subscribe button too. It's free, it helps me grow the channel and keep making these videos. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at LCTR Games. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.